Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns are ranked number one in the nation. But there's a big difference in being ranked number one now and being ranked number one early in the season. Early in the season, you have a little bit of a stumble. You figure everybody else is too, and you've got a chance to get back in the fight. Too late for that now. No margin for error, no room for misstep if you want to finish on top. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium in Houston, Texas. These fans are pumped up and anxious to see this one get underway. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the 41. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And down he goes at the 49. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Houston's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Mike three. Get to that quickly. Lost a five on the way. That makes it third and 15. sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Gaddis awaits the snap. Heading for the corner. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Fires that quickly, incomplete. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Got it and brought down immediately. That'll make it 35. Quick pass, and he's 
right there to knock it away. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. Williamson is waiting for the snap. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Three and out. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it fourth and four. Wallace will be the return man. He's taken down at the 43. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets rid of this one. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers palmer awaiting the return <laughs> tackle at the 22 yard line well this has really been stingy by both of these defense the question is can they keep this pace up though? i think that's, that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this right now the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses but i get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking i don't think either team has a clear advantage so far let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation slings it he's taken down right around the 30. Protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. Around the 49-yard line. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Go 
Going right to his tailback. And they make the stop. That's the 44. Smith with the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it third and seven. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. So at the end of one, now this one's scoreless. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He drops it. And they push him out around the 23-yard line. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. <laughs> Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 29. Holmes makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. It makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Coming after this putter. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Mike three. Mike three. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. Big hit by the defense there. Good job of timing up the hit. And he didn't get there too early for the pass interference. He waited till the receiver touched the football, and then he was able to dislodge the ball from the receiver. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Here 
comes the pressure. And he might want it all here and does. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now, a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here when you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. Kicks up, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 3-0, Houston. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Houston is ready to kick it away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 38. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. In the shotgun and five wide out. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 47. That's a game of 10 on the day. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 46. Second and nine. Ball on the 46. He gets rid of this one. and goal. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. It's second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Texas is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up, and it's through the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers come into today's game ranked number seven. The Tigers continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. And for Bush, He's caught one for a touchdown. Back and forth we go, up and down the field. We're seeing a shootout, and it's all time. Elsewhere, they are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for UTSA, they're trying to win their first game of the season. Texas-San Antonio leads it 21-14.
3-3 game here. Texas. Atkins gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. To an open man, he dropped it. That makes it second From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Here comes the pressure, throwing right, has it to the senior. He's taken down at the 37. Houston's going to take their first time out of the half. They come out on an empty backfield. He goes out of bounds at the 34. That's a That'll make it second and seven. From the 34-yard line, second down. First down, and he's knocked out. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15. first down and they'll be looking for six points here let's see if they try to pound it in here both teams have their goal line sets on the touchdown Houston he makes the PAT Seven play, 73 yard drive, and a touchdown to result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five wide. made at the 35. Peterson brings his down at the 35 yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He wants it all going long. Drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Aaron and out long. No, incomplete. yard line we played a half Houston in front 10 3 
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. There's a strike complete. He's down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of four yards. First down. Tackles him for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Second down and 11. Ball on the 37. Butler gets it on the inside. Good outside run there. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll make it third and five. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he shoved out of bounds at the 47-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Williamson is the putter. Room around the corner. He's taken down at the 31. Pretty good job by the return man there. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Houston is up a score. Throws left, the running back's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line.
the ground and steps out right away. Three yard line. Second down. Fires out to his wide out. Houston up seven points. coming. Looks to the receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the board's going to break. And for Kent State, they've won two straight. And for Williams, his pass has found the end zone three times. The Golden Flashes win it by three. Wow. You can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Lambert from the two. And he's tackled at the 27. Houston's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fires it out. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Man left, man left. From their own 46-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 49. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good that makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And down he goes around the 30-yard line. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. The Cougars lead it by two touchdowns. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Nice 
nice run there. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. This is the ninth play of this drive. From the 27 yard line. Second down. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. They'll bring him down to the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Nice run up the middle. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And off to the back. Won't score. given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's taken down at the 25. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. the exact same play they just ran. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Tackled after the 
Jackson pick up. Just under two to go in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats, so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 17-3, Cougars. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.